Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Taylor, and today we're going to be doing a quick video on the oil change for my 2008 Ford F450 with the 6.4 Power Stroke motor. We're going to show you some tips and tricks along the way, and I'll show you all the tools you'll need to do this yourself at home. All right, here's everything we'll need to do our oil change today. I've got 15 quarts of 1540 Dalo uh, diesel engine oil. Um, I always go with 1540, that's what's recommended for diesels, and I typically just buy whatever's on sale at O'Reilly the day I go to do this. Next thing is your socket wrench. You only need two sockets. You'll need a 19 mil for the drain plug on the oil pan and a 36 mil, I believe, yeah, 36, for the oil filter cap on top of the motor, which I'll show you here briefly. And then I also buy the uh, Ford Motocraft filter. I exclusively use the Motocraft just because I've always had the best luck with their filters for my truck. Here's the truck we'll be working on, and um, I apologize if I seem a little jittery. It's 25 degrees outside right now, so I'm kind of freezing my ass off, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this and see just how quickly we can get this oil changed. And we'll start with the first step right now. All right, guys, it's 11.13 a.m. We're gonna see how quickly we can get this done. First step is cracking loose this drain plug on the bottom of the pan. We got that drain and we're gonna move up top now to the rest of the motor. Up top here, this is our oil filter canister. We're gonna pull this cap off of here and pull the old filter out. I like to keep a plastic bag and a couple paper towels up here just so you don't make a mess when you get this thing pulled out. So we'll take our bag. Too much. Then clean up any residual that you might have spilled, like I did, and move on to installing your new O ring on your cap, which I'll show you now. So, here is your new O ring that comes with your new filter, and this is the filter cap. You want to take a little tool, pry up on the existing O ring, and just pull that off, throw that one away, and get your new one installed. All right, we're gonna throw our new seal in. Just stretch it around, get it into the highest groove all the way around there, like so. And then you'll wanna take a bit of grease and just put it around the outside of that to get a good seal. Now, one good thing to note is that this is a Ford Motorcraft oil cap, and it's used explicitly with that uh, Ford Motorcraft filter. If you get like an aftermarket Wix filter or Napa brand, they'll come with their own cap. And if you don't use the corresponding cap to the filter you have, you could have a dry start condition with the truck, which will leave your oil light on ever so slightly when you uh, start the truck, but it does go away after a few seconds once you get some oil pressure going. So down below here, we're down to a very light stream of oil coming out. and We'd be here all day if we waited for all of it. So I'm gonna throw the plug back in get on to the next step clean that surface throw it in so it stops leaking and then go ahead once more with the rag and wipe all the residual off of the outside just because i'm a neat freak and we'll get this thing snugged up momentarily perfect there we go oil plugs back in so your filter inside of the cap there's a little recess and then there's a snap little plastic thing at the top that clips in so you put that in and it just clicks together like so and uh, now i'm going to prime off our oil filter housing a little bit just so we have a little oil in the filter housing for the first startup so i put a little more than half a quart in this housing and you put your filter in oh almost forgot we want to get a little oil around the outside of this pop it down it is spring loaded so you kind of got to push on it at the same time you're tightening and once you get your threads started you can go ahead and fasten it down the rest of the way with the 36 mil
And you don't have to tighten this too much. Just make sure it gets snug right at the end. Give that seal a little bit of room to uh, set right there and we're ready to fill it up. I'm gonna put the rest of this individual court in like this. Spilt a little bit of course and actually just set the head in and this will actually kind of thread in there. I never have a funnel, so I'm gonna cut the top of this off so I can pour our bigger jugs in. So let's take a razor blade, poke it around, and cut the top off, or bottom off rather. And now you've got a homemade funnel with a pretty good capacity for dumping in these gigantic jugs that are a hassle to hold on to. So here goes nothing with two and a half gallons. Kind of turn it to the side it won't burp out like that then on to our last gallon all right guys it's 11 31 and i'm just letting that last uh, oil can drain out into there just because it was uh i want to get every last drop out of it but we're essentially done with our oil change. All right, we're done filling, the cap's back on. We're gonna go over and fire the truck up for the first time. So if you saw there, just ever so slightly that oil light came on, that's because that, uh, filter housing just needed time to pump up so we should have some good oil pressure now I'll let it run for about a minute and then uh, we'll go ahead and check the level just to make sure we've got enough in there so let's check our fluid I'm gonna wipe it down first just because there's probably some residual on there from the previous oil Get this thing good and clean throw it back down in there and see what we're looking like And hopefully that'll focus. We're looking just about perfect. Uh, once this cools down, I'm sure uh, the oil will reach the max line. I just shut the engine off, so we're right up where it should be. And that does it, your oil change and your 6.4 power stroke. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys found that helpful. We actually got this done. We started at 11.13, like right on the dot, and we were done putting the last gallon of oil in by 11:31, so we did it with under 20 minutes 18 minutes including filming so i think your average guy if he was on a mission you could probably do that in 15 minutes or less an oil change is super easy to do on this truck because everything's accessible and when you can do it that quickly there's really no excuse for not doing it yourself because you only need two sockets one wrench and something to put your oil in and you're essentially you know done Thank you guys so much for stopping by and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more automotive content like this. I've got the 6.4 Power Stroke and the El Camino Project and we're always working on the two at the same time, so stop by soon to check out what's going on. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next video.